Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 12th of 2021, well, it is titled Eclipse on the Water. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the eclipse from two days ago on June the 10th of this year, where we saw an eclipse from certain parts of the world, uh, such as the northeastern part of the United States, much of Canada, uh, Greenland, and over into uh, Russia. And uh, many of those areas saw a partial solar eclipse, as is imaged here, up above the water, where you can see the sun as a crescent rising. So it was a beautiful sight to see the sun rising as a crescent instead of as a full disk. Now in order to see it really well you had to catch it quite early uh, just as it was rising you could see easily with the naked eye you could watch the sun rising and notice that it was not a completely round disk. Now once it got a little bit higher in the sky it was harder to tell as it became too bright to be able to easily distinguish uh, from a disk even though it wasn't fully illuminated it was much too bright to be able to look at and to be able to separate it from being a disk. Although if you could get a quick enough image of it through a camera for example then you would be able to see that it was still a crescent. And for many areas, of course, as it got too high in the sky, the eclipse ended, uh, especially for the eastern coast of the United States. And then, of course, you were not able to see anything at all. So here we get a beautiful image through the clouds of the eclipse as it occurred on the morning of June the 10th. Now an eclipse like this occurs when our moon passes in front of the sun and that's what's blocking it out and making the sun appear as a crescent. That portion there is actually the moon blotting out part of our sun and keeping us from being able to see it. Now during a total eclipse it would be completely blocked out and you would not be able to see the sun at all and it would get completely dark so essentially during the middle of the day you would see it completely dark as nighttime. So we can see uh, that is one of the types of eclipses that we can see. The other type of eclipse uh, that we see is a lunar eclipse, which occurs at the other phase of the moon. This occurs at new moon when the moon is in the same direction in the sky as the sun. And the other occurs at full moon when it is opposite to the sun in the sky. At that point, our moon will move into Earth's shadow, and that will then block out the moonlight from reaching us. So sunlight strikes the moon normally, and we reflected sunlight as how we see the moon. However, when it moves into Earth's shadow, we see far less sunlight, except for the dull red color, uh, sometimes called a blood red color that we see of our moon from light that has managed to sneak through Earth's atmosphere and into the shadow. So here we're seeing a solar eclipse uh, that we saw and not that long before a couple weeks before we actually saw a lunar eclipse from some parts of the world as well. So that was our picture of the day for June the 12th of 2021. It was titled Eclipse on the Water. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Supercell Sunday. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.